Hi everyone, Vacha here from Recording Studio 9 and thanks for joining me again today. In part 6 on series of videos about Behringer's Xenix UFX 1604 16 channel mixer audio interface, we're going to look at the special audio routing available for the output of our two FX modules available on our mixer. If you haven't watched the previous videos on this series, I highly recommend you visit my YouTube channel and then play the playlist. That way you get to understand all of its functions. I do provide a lot of detailed information in those videos and you can always come back and watch this video. Now even though by default the output of both FX modules go to the main mix bus, these routing options will give you an alternative output to those FX module outputs. So without any further delay, let's get on to the slideshow and I'll talk about all of its options. So let's discover the onboard FXA audio output routing. FXA master and FXB master send knobs set the combined signal output level to respective built-in FX modules. The knob center click to 0 dB which can provide an optimum level when proper gain staging of each channel is applied. The FXA master and FXB master send knobs determine the amount of signal being fed into the FX modules. The FXA and FXB master send pre and post buttons determine whether the signal is pre or post the fader of each channel. FXA and FXB master return levels determine the amount of signal being fed back to the main bus. If using external FX modules, FXA and FXB, the main FXA and FXB master return knobs also control the amount of signal coming back from the external hardware FX modules. The FXA and FXB master returns have five special audio routing options, which are the topic of today's video. These routing options are a great way to determine where the outputs go during live session or in the studio recording session. Pressing down the To Send 1 button will route the FXA output to Auxiliary 1 Master Send. This is a mono signal because the Auxiliary 1 is a mono channel. This combines with the Auxiliary 1 Send audio signals from each of the channels. By pressing To Send 1 button down, it cuts off the FXA output going to the main mix, so you can have a separate effect going to the stage monitoring speakers, different to the main output speakers. Pressing to send 4 button will route the FXA module output to FXB master send or auxiliary 4 send. Again, this is a mono signal because auxiliary 4 is a mono channel. This also creates a special function because we can now feed the FXA module's output into the input of the FXB module, which will allow us to combine two different effects. Pressing down to ALT 3 4 button will route the FXA module's output to alternate 3 4 output sockets. These are stereo signals. Again, this cuts off the FXA return to the main mix. So if you are using alternate 3 4 as outputs, Effects can be applied to these outputs. All of these options can be used all at the same time. You can send the FXA output into FXB as well as alternate 3 and 4. Of course, pressing any of these options, FXA module's output is cut off from the main mix. For FXB master return, there's one option. It allows you to select to go to the main mix or to the control room. This is useful if you are sending a different effects to the vocalist using the headphones during vocal recording in the studio. So how do we record the FXA module's output in our DAW? Well, here's a simple workaround. After selecting the effect that we want on FXA module, press down the ALTER 3-4 button down. This will send the stereo output of FXA module into alternate 3 and 4. Here is an important note. 
we have to make sure that we have our FXA send for channels 13, 14, or 15 and 16, whichever one is going to be used, is turned all the way down, all the way anti-clockwise. Otherwise, it will actually create an audio feedback because we will be feeding back the output of FXA back to into FXA. Once you have the FXA knob turned all the way down, now you can connect 6.5 millimeter TRS jack leads from the alternate 3, 4 output into the inputs of 13, 14 or 15 and 16, whichever one you have decided to use. We can use the send pre post button to allow us to select whether we want the signal to be sent to our DAW with or without the EQ processing. Next, let's make sure that the input gain knob of the channels 13, 14 or 15 and 16 is set to 0 dB unity. Now we can adjust the alternate 3, 4 main output level and monitor the channel 13, 14 or 15 and 16 meter to read minus 12 dB and only picking at 0 dB. Depending which channel we have chosen to send the effects to, channels 13, 14 or 15 and 16, by recording that channel on our DAW, we are going to be recording only the output of the FXA module. And now we can use these recorded effects channels in our mixing session in our DAW. Well, I hope this video was helpful. Now you know a bit more detail about the audio routing of the FX modules. If this was helpful, make sure you give me the thumbs up. And if you have any comments in regards to uh, the audio routing that I haven't covered, please feel free to comment below and I'm more than happy to answer them for you. And until next time, as always, thanks for watching and have a great time making music. Cheerio, guys. I just need your